Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are looking at mostly cloudy skies right now across our area, and that's going to be the story. We've seen a lot of clouds today. We're going to see clouds tonight as well as tomorrow, but we're also seeing some very, very mild conditions. Right now, let's take you live right out the door here in Woodway. Again, this is our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker here in Woodway. This is Highway 84. Everything seems to be smooth at this time. And again, skies are mostly cloudy. Did you think it was pretty hot today? Yeah, I thought it was pretty hot too. So hot that we broke a record, right? I just hear Adam off in the distance. Adam, how hot was it? It was hot enough to break a record. 82 degrees, the high temperature today that broke our record of 81, set back in 1995. Yeah, 82 degrees in the middle of December. A little, little out of whack, isn't it? Our current temperature, 72 degrees here in Waco, as well as Temple. It's also 72 in Colleen, 73 in Gatesville, and we're holding on to 74 in Brenham under mostly cloudy skies. You know, the average high for today is about 61 degrees, so we are way above that at this hour. Winds still a little bit on the strong side, but not as bad as they were this afternoon. Again, the average over the last several hours, 21 miles per hour here in Waco, 26 Mahia, Palestine around 20, and you can see a little bit lighter as you work your way over toward Brownwood. We've got a 12 mile per hour wind at this time, but there's the front again and to the north of the front. We'll show you what's going on up there, but we're on the tail end. We've been seeing clouds and this front really hasn't moved through. We've still in that bubble of warm air on top of us, but if you go a little bit farther back up to the north, this is what's going on. Uh, it's a good old fashioned winter storm moving through the uh, central and the northern plains out ahead of it. Showers and thunderstorms and some of these thunderstorms that were earlier today in parts of eastern Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri and Iowa were producing not only some hail out there, but uh, that's dropping some funnels and some tornadoes from time to time. So it's been very, very active, but it's been moving very, very fast. You know, I was checking some of the uh, hourly reports there when they had the storms moving through uh, Omaha, Nebraska, moving to the north and east around 100 miles per hour. Yeah, that's how fast these storms were going. So it's pretty hard to keep up with that. Look at that. So on the back side of that, some snow and some very heavy snow for Western uh, Minnesota. But down here, we're just seeing the clouds and some warm air on top of us. As we hit the overnight period, we're going to keep it cloudy. Temperatures holding pretty steady. Temperatures by tomorrow morning, very similar to what we had this morning. We're looking at upper 60s across the board. As we go throughout the morning, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a spotty shower here or there, but there's the front. It's actually going to be stalling out there as a stationary front. By 5 o'clock, there could be a stray shower here or there, but I think most of us stay high and dry. But look what happens to the front. It begins to lift back up to the north, still leaving us in that warm sector of air. So we're going to start off warm again on Friday with temperatures in the upper 60s as we go throughout the day on Friday. Should be another day, upper 70s across our area with the front knocking on the door. It's going to come back down as a very strong cold front overnight. Friday into Saturday, and that's when we'll start to see the changes. But tonight, mostly cloudy skies. 68 degrees will be the low temperature. Winds are still a little breezy, south at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, expect mostly cloudy skies. There may be a few peaks of sunshine. 79 degrees the high. By the way, I checked the record for tomorrow. It's 84. So I don't think we're going to break the record tomorrow, but we're going to come close. There's that 30% chance of a scattered shower or storm uh, in the afternoon. But again, best chances may be just east of I-35. As we look ahead, this is the Apple Sport Chevrolet long range 10 day forecast. Best chance overnight Friday into Saturday. So 70% chance of showers, maybe a storm, not expecting any severe weather. Saturday morning, 63 degrees, and that's an early morning high. Temperatures will fall throughout the day. 54 on Sunday. We may even drop into the 40s for highs on Monday. That may be a, a kind of a cold day. And then winter officially arrives on Tuesday, and then back into the 70s. And look at that. Uh, Christmas Eve, which is Friday, 65 degrees, and then Christmas Day, partly to mostly sunny and 66. There's the forecast for Bryan and College Station. A bunch of 80s over the next couple of days. A pretty good shot of some rain, though, on Saturday, especially in the morning. Front moves through the next week, uh, fairly warm again across our area with temperatures above normal, upper 60s to low to mid 70s. Oh, my God.